What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're talking about the fighters that I think are going to be in the final fight announcement for Esports Boxing Club. Todd Grisham says it's going to be announced this week. Obviously it's Todd, it's Todd Grisham, so take that with a pinch of salt because you never know when things can change. So while this is the final fight announcement they're going to be doing, it is not the final one forever. This is just the final one before the game is released. They will possibly do more like they said when the full game is out. So far, we've had two episodes. In episode one, they announced about 26 fighters with the likes of Crawford, Edgar Belanga, Roy Jones Jr., Alexander Yusuf, Kayla Plant, and many more that we did and didn't know. Then in episode two, that I was actually in, which is just still fucking mind-blowing to me, they announced about 35 to 40 fighters, I think, with the likes of Lomachenko, Marcus Madonna, Carissa Shields, Vidal Riley, and then they announced those two kickboxers, Badahari and can't think of the last one's name. And then they also announced Chris Seibel. And while I saw people were disappointed with episode two, I don't think that's because episode two was bad. I think it's because episode one was so good. I think it set the bar too high. They should have done episode one as episode two and episode two as episode one. It would have made much more sense and people would have been mind blown, then mega mind blown. But they have already said that Todd said, should I say not they, I don't want to get the devs in trouble. Todd said this is going to be the biggest and best fighter reveal yet. And while, does that mean they're going to announce 50 fighters that are all major stars? Maybe not. Does that mean they're going to announce just 10 fighters and they're all mind-blowing? Maybe. Who knows what they're going to do yet? So while I will be realistic in this video, I will be setting my sights relatively high. I will not be using as much bias as I will logic. I'll try to be a bit smarter with my predictions. I've taken some of the names out from the last two episodes and put them in here. If you want to go and check out the other two that i done on this, feel free to. There's lots of good names in there, lots of good predictions that people really liked. But this one, I thought... I just feel like I'm going to get a good five or six of these right this time. I really do. Last time, I got Marcus Madonna, Chris Shields, and Lomachenko correct. So this time, I'm hoping to get a few more right. So we already know Lawrence Oakley. I can't pronounce his last name, guys. You're just going to have to just accept that. I suck at names. It's just the way it be. We already know he's in the game because he put that video on Instagram. That I made the video on the other day. Thank you for the support on that, by the way. And then we already know Jamel Herring. Uh, they put it on Twitter a couple of days, a few uh, weeks ago after he won his fight against Carl Frampton. So as always with these videos, I'm not going to waste time talking about deep backstories of every single motherfucker we talk about here. We're just going to get through them. Bing, 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 bing. I put it into active fighters. I put it into names that aren't as big. I put it into retired fighters just so you guys uh, can at least filter out. So we're going to start with names that maybe aren't as big and might not be in the game, but I still wanted to just mention them just in case. And those three fighters are 32 and 5 Andre Berto, who I mainly know actually through fighting Floyd Mayweather, to be honest, and that he once sparred with Terence Crawford. Uh, Caleb Truax at 31, 5 and 2, and then Campbell Hatton at 1 and 0. Oh. And the reason I'm going for Campbell Hatton at 1 and 0 oh is because David Adelaide's in the game at 4 or 5 and 0. Oh, I can't remember what he is. And his dad is in the game. He recently did his pro debut, and he's with Matchroom, I think. It, to me, Caleb Hatton just makes sense. I could be wrong, but it just makes sense. Then we're going to move on to legends, retired fighters, whatever you prefer to call them. Right off the start, we've got 46 and 0 Joe Calazaghi. To me, I just think when it comes to legends, he's just one of the top ones up there for me. Then one that I've said consistently, Lennox Lewis at 41, 2 and 1. Then we've got 28 and 4 David Hay. 56 and 5 Muhammad Ali. And you guys know the reason I think that is because I made that video small hints towards Muhammad Ali like two weeks ago. And to me, something just clicked, and I just have a feeling he's going to be announced and be going to be one of the bigger names. Then we're at 50 and 6, we've got Mike Tyson. I just think Mike Tyson's just on board for a lot of things lately. You know, he just is really enjoying life, it seems to be, in every way. And I could see him, him definitely being there. Then we've got 66 and 1, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. I just think, you know, for old school heavyweights, for big heavy hitters, he's at the top of my list for that kind of era of boxing. And then at 31 and 2, we've got Costa Zoo. Uh, I think that kind of rhymed. Uh, obviously, I have mentioned his son as well as him in the past in a few videos as well. Uh, I just think with Hatton being in as well, one of Hatton's biggest victories was over Costa Zoo. I think that just makes sense. And then we go on to some bigger names. Um, you know, just, I suppose, bigger names, active fighters, if you will. I know you guys are going to like a lot of these names as well, so let's just get straight into it. Right off the bat, we've got heavyweight, 42 and 1 and 1. Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. Assuming he doesn't ask for too much money, which I did say before because I think he will, he would be lethal in this game, especially after we saw that Joe Frazier knockout and David Adelaide in the game. He would be nasty to get those stone-cold knockouts where the body just falls flat. That would be sick. And we've got a 39-3. and three. While he is on the decline, that is Kel Brook, or Special K, I think his nickname is. Uh, I just think, you know, great English fighter. Definitely see it possible. Speaking of English fighters, we go on to Daniel Dynamite Dubois or Triple D at 15-1. and one, Only lost to Joe Joyce. He's bouncing off that horrific eye injury he's had. 
And uh, I see it possible with Joe Joyce being in the game. I definitely see it possible. And we stay in England for another one at 32 and 10. Derek War Chisora. I mean, you can't have a heavyweight division without Chisora lately. And that's, I just, just feel like that's just, just the way it is. Then we go on to 40 and 1. Mikey Garcia. I just feel like he's going to be a big name. Just a big name that's going to be in the game. Not the biggest name, but a 40 and 1 is definitely a fighter that I think is going to be there. These next, like, four, you guys are going to be super happy with. So we're going to just rattle them off one after the other. We've got 28 and 2 recently coming off a victory. Dillian White, the body snatcher. Um, next in line to, I think, fight the winner of AJ Fury, I believe, after their two fights. I think he might try. I, I recommend he gets one more fight in before then to stay fresh against just some kind of journeyman just to stay fresh. But that's just my opinion. Then we've got Tim Zhu. I think that's how you pronounce his last name because... Because I think that's how he pronounces Daz. Yeah, it must be. I think it's just Timzu. At 18 and 0. This man's a beast. Um, a, a good Aussie. I thought they were going to announce him when they, they shoot the map and they went over to Australia. I thought, ah, oh, it's going to be him. But it wasn't, unfortunately. But then we go all the way over to Japan with Naya Inui. You guys know I had to be on here. 20 and 0. The monster. One of my favorite fighters actively right now. I love this guy. Hope to see him in there as well. Then we stay with the big names with 16 and 0. Tio Fimo Lopez, one of the only men to beat Lomachenko and beat him decisively. He beat him decisively, like 9 3 or something stupid. In my opinion, one of the hardest names to get a hold of, I believe, but I definitely see it plausible. Then we switch up to the female division for the next two fighters. We've got 10 and 0, Savannah Marshall. I think she beat Carissa Shields in the amateurs and them to be going back and forth. But she is 10 of 8 knockouts. While Carissa Shields likes to talk a lot of shit, she has pillows for fists. And I think Savannah Marshall's living in her head rent free, to be honest. I think she's so worked up over Savannah Marshall's recent title win. Uh, it's been insane. I had to unfollow Carissa Shields on Twitter that it got that bad that she just would never shut the fuck up. I like Carissa Shields, but she really needs to just focus on boxing. If she's going to talk shit about boxers, then why are you getting in the cage? That's just my opinion on that. Then we stay in the female division for, of course, 17 and 0. The Irish superstar, Katie. Is she Irish? Katie Taylor. Obviously, had to be done. If you're going to have a female division, you've got to have Katie Taylor in it. Obviously, we saw, I made that video where it was that small hint towards Katie Taylor. I see it being possible. I see her being announced in this episode, hands down. Then we go on to Active Legends at 62 and 7 and 2 with Manny Pac Man. Pacquiao. I feel like you can't have a boxing game without this man in it. He'd be so much fun. His footwork, his hand speed, everything about him would be so fucking cool. I would just love to see it in all honesty. Just, just, just love to. And then we go into three undefeated fighters in a row. We've got 27 and 0. Errol Spence Jr. A lot of people believe this is the man to beat Crawford. In my opinion, Crawford's the man to beat Errol Spence. But with that being said, Spence would be a freak in this game. He'd be a lot of fun to use. And all in all, I generally see it possible. Now we go on to someone that's Undefeated still, but unlikely to get in the game due to recent trouble outside the ring, even though they have had a fight just announced where they're going up a division to fight a 26-0 undefeated champion, Javante Tank Davis. Dare to be great at the minute. I love this man inside the ring, 24-0, 23 KOs. What a freak he is. And we stay, like I said, with the undefeated train, and we go to Devin Haney at 25-0. and 0. If one of these three, Errol Spence, Haney or Javon is possible, I believe Devin Haney is the one to be possible. I don't know why, I just have a feeling in my gut and I just have to get it out there. The next two, before we go on to the biggest names that I think will be announced, I believe Todd actually spoke about these guys saying that he has been in talks with two of them and that is 55 and 8, Bernard Hopkins and 41, 1 and 1, 41, 1 and 1, yep, Gennady, Triple G, Golovkin. Obviously, you guys know that I would love Triple G in this game. I think Bernard Hopkins is like a... A 95% chance to get him in the game. I just, I just see it happening. But Triple G, you guys know I'd love to have him in the game. And then for the biggest name to be announced, I believe it will be between two fighters. And that is, again, Triple G or Saul Canelo Alvarez. I think it will be one of those two will be the big name to be announced in this final fighter showcase. Or at least, I hope so. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. These are all the fighters that I think I'm hoping to at least get 10 correct out of the 28 names that I said, like I said, I'm hoping to get 10 of these correct. I didn't count Lawrence or Jamel Herring just because I don't I don't count them because they're already pretty much guaranteed. But out of these names, these are the ones. Obviously, there is some honorable mentions such as the Charlo brothers. Um, obviously, because, you know, both of them are fantastic fighters. I definitely see them possible. But for now, I left them out um, of this list. 
But yeah, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, let me know if you think I'm right, wrong, who you think is going to be announced. Uh, please know Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury talk because it's not happening there with EA. If it does happen, I'll eat my hat and I will apologize to everyone that I said it's not possible to. And I will concede absolute defeat there because I will, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm big enough to accept when I'm wrong. But that just, I just don't see it possible. But yeah, I, uh, I think I've got some good names here. I think I've got a high chance of getting quite a few of these right, just using ba basic logic. And yeah, let's see what happens. Obviously, I'll be doing a live reaction when it does come out, and I will be breaking it down if there's any gameplay shown in it as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it with this one, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.